in case you have found yourself being locked out from your WordPress admin area, do not worry. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to change the administrative user password. And as a matter of fact, you can use the same technique to change any of the user's password manually in your database. But before we get into this, there are a few things that I would like to say. First of all, welcome. My name is Barna Bookswalm. And uh, secondly, please, whatever I'm going to show you in this video, do not use this in any kind of harmful way. This video is for in case of emergencies when you have been locked out for any kind of work related issues or you are a victim of a cyber attack and your password has been changed, but you need to get in to make sure that your website is being cleaned out. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, as you can see, I'm trying to log into my uh, WordPress admin area. This is a brand new demo website. So whatever I'm going to show you in this video, at the end, everything will be deleted and nothing will be working just for security measures. Anyways, as you can see, username and password did not uh, work and I get the usual error message. Now, in this case, what you need to do is log into your web hosts control panel. In my case, we are using the regular cPanel. And in cPanel, what you need to look for is something called PHP My Admin. Now, in PHP My Admin, you can uh, visually change the values in your database. And this is the place where everything is being stored. So your user information, your post information, options, settings, everything that you can think about of your website, everything is stored in the database. So to get started, let's click on the PHP My Admin icon and it will open up a new browser tab. Now in the new browser tab, I'm just going to hide myself just in case. In the top left hand corner, you will see the available uh, databases. And for this demo website, I'm using the WP1 database. As soon as you click on that, it will give you a list of available tables. And from these tables, this is, as you can see, it's a brand new website. So only a couple of uh, regular tables are available. What you need to look for is a prefix. This prefix is usually WP. This is the default, but for security reasons, it's usually being changed when you're installing a brand new WordPress website. So prefix is not something that you're looking for. What you're looking for is the user's table. As soon as you see that, just simply click on that and it will give you a list of available users for that website. In my case, this is a single administrative user with the user login, the user password being encrypted. So if you see this password, this is not going to work no matter what, but I'm going to explain this in a moment, how to get your password encrypted. And the regular uh, usual information, the nickname, email, the site URL, and when this user has been registered. So this is something that we don't really need in this case. What you need to do is use the edit button. And as soon as you click on that, it will give you a different version of the previous information. In this case, you can actually um, edit and use different functions. What we are looking for is the user pass row. And as you can see, and also, as I mentioned a moment ago, this password is not the actual password that is in use. This is an encrypted version. Now, if you want to type in just a regular password and save that, it will not work. What you need to do is type in the password that you wish to use. And as you can see, there is a drop down menu right next to that in the function column. All you need to do, click on that and in the menu, choose MD5. What this will do is encrypt your password and WordPress will be able to use it. As soon as you have the MD5 function selected, typed in your password under the value, 
click on the go button and that should do the trick. As you can see, the demo password 987 is something really long in encrypted version. Of course, we need to test it. So if I go to my website and type in demo website and use the password, it should log in without any issues. Oh, thank you. We do not wish to save the password because it will not mean anything in a moment. As you can see, that was all. It's only a couple of minutes of work and this is all you need to know about um, how to change the password. Something as a little extra. MD5 as an encryption is not being used by WordPress since version 2.5 or something like that. Um, I might be wrong, but something from the early days. And uh, there is a stronger encryption in use. Now, do not worry about that because as soon as you change the password and use the MD5 encryption, for the first time when you log in, WordPress will update the encryption of the password to the new standard and it is a much stronger encryption. Well, at least it's using a stronger encryption, encryption automatically and you don't need to worry about it. That's it. Um, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet, and we will see each other in the next video. Have an awesome day. See ya.